Hello everyone and welcome to another Random Bits and Pieces segment from my brain. And today, sit a while, because we are going to be playing some Brigandzine. So in the last episode, uh, <clears throat> I did lose a territory. I lost Salisbury here. It was kind of expected, I had mentioned it a couple of times that my defense team there was not all that strong. Uh, and it happened, uh, we didn't put much of a fight, but then I exacted revenge by taking Kaelsant from Carolian here. So, and prior to ending the last video I did not notice, but uh, Kai is all alone here. So that's going to be interesting because, you know, uh, prior to shooting this video, I rolled my teams again and my attack team is going to be in chaos and um, so that's going to be very interesting uh, to see what happens. I'm guessing they might try to do kind of a pincer attack where they're going to attack with Kai here and with whoever they put there and then try to regain that castle, but my attack team is actually going to be okay. So I might be able to fend them off if that happens. If not, I'm going to attack Kai without any remorse here, uh, all by himself, and try to gain that territory. So first things uh, first, I'm going to move people around so that uh, teams are as I rolled them prior to this video. All right, so here we have... So Paternus is actually going to be part of my attack team, so he goes all the way down. And Chantel uh, has a decent unit, uh, and he's pretty decent himself, but sadly he's going on quest. Now here... Sophia is going to move up here. Balin is staying here, and Jorg is going here. Now in here, I have five knights because I, I lost that castle and they ran away. It's better than being killed. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Kilaf is going up here. That unit over here is going to be pretty strong, and it's not. <laughs> it's kind of a waste because I don't think Norgard is going to try to attack. They're hurting pretty bad over there, but you know, random is random. Uh, Asmit and Charlene are both staying here. Uh, Philo is part of my attack team. She's going down here. And Galloin going here. Now Leoness is staying put. So is Teeth. And Langborg is sadly part of my... Langborg is not my favorite. I don't think he's anybody's favorite who plays Leonia. And Raisin is going on quest with Shantae. Well, they're not going to get her, but at the same time. Alright, and then Leoness and Teeth are here. And then finally in here, uh, Isphus is going all the way up with Kilaf and Sophia. So yeah, that unit to defend there is pretty strong. Again, not really needed. Uh, Clarence is going to help defend Aston with Leoness. We know how much Carlion likes to attack Aston. It's probably going to be needed uh, to defend there. And finally, Cortina is moving all the way in here. Alright, so that should do it. So as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Uh, prior to the video, I bolstered my troops with scorpions. Uh, I found two units that could use a little bit, uh, a little bit more. So they got scorpions. Nothing to be worth showing. Level one scorpions are pretty unimpressive. 
but uh, that happened. All right, so let's go ahead and execute, and then we're gonna make sure everybody's where they should be. All right, so that's my attack team, so it's, it's decent. Not the best, but it's decent. Our ear, that's, that's pretty decent to defend. Lots of golems to defend the ear, lots of centaurs as well. Not bad. I doubt that I'm gonna get attacked. Maybe. An right, ear, pretty good looking. Maybe too many scorpions for my own taste, but. And again, you know, ear, I'm pretty, pretty strong, and, you know. I. I don't see them attacking me. I, I mean, they can't. They only have two units. Yeah, that, that's not happening. All right, so we are going to have to stay put. I cannot attack Kai right now. I moved all of my troops, so none of them are eligible to attack. What did Kai do? Yeah, he bolstered his team quite a bit. So, but he, it's only in. So that's all he's got. Am I in danger of being attacked? Eh, not this turn, but you can see see how what he's done here. Now he's moved Dynadon here and Janfadar, uh, so that he can attack with, you know, pretty good troops. All right, let's. Oh, new Amicia is uh, attacking, and that was pretty easy. Well, that was fast. All right, Chantel is already coming back from quest. So Chantel quest. Chantel finds a hidden cave. His torch cannot pierce the darkness. Cautiously, he enters. The cave is deep, and it seems others have been here before. In the darkness, something brushes his hand, and Chantel extends the torch to see what it was. Suddenly, the floor opens beneath Chantel. He has fallen into a trap. Luckily, Chantel survives and will recover with time. Alright, so he's injured for a month. I cannot send him back on quest. Oh, wow, Raisin's back from quest too. Raisin quest. Raisin passes a bard singing in the town square. The bard's voice is so alluring, Raisin feels compelled to stop and listen. Oh, I am honored that a knight would listen to my humble tune. At your leave, I will sing a song just for you. As the bard begins to sing, Raisin is amazed to hear that, the, that he is the hero of the song. Raisin has never heard the song before, yet it sounds strangely familiar. Raisin listens intently till the end. This song celebrates your future valor and will be sung across for Cena one day. Amused, Raisin shakes the bard's arm and departs. Later, Raisin tries to sing the tune, but can't remember a single note or word. Yet, strangely, Raisin feels more confident in his ability. Alright, so he gains a little bit more MP, so Raisin is a monk, he can cast, you know, eel and stuff like that, so having a little bit more MP never hurts. Um, I don't think there's a bad outcome for that kind of quest line. Uh, when you meet the bard, it's pretty much always a stat increase. Kind of like the flower girl. Alright, so Chantel has returned, Raisin has returned, and we are going to... Send Raisin back. Can't send Re Chantel, he got hurt. Alright. Again, just gonna save. It's just to protect my, myself. I've had one bug one time. I know I mentioned it uh, here and there. And <clears throat> also, it's to protect me in case there's, you know, a power outage or something. Alright, so now we know what's going to happen. They're gonna try to attack me in the air from both sides. Or not. They moved pretty much every. Wow, okay. Suit yourself. Alright, so I'm attacking Kai. I don't expect it to be too hard. He does have a lot of monsters, but he's all alone. And he's a caster. So I'm gonna start crushing him if he doesn't run away first. And since he's stuck there, so there's no path for him to go, uh, he's really stuck there uh, because I'm, 
occupying the only castle that's you know that's adjacent to it. Uh, if he runs away, he's gonna have to do a force retreat, and when he does that, there's a better chance for me to capture monsters. So I might end up with a dragon or a rock or a level eight scorpion. Who knows? Or I might end up with nothing. All right. There you go. Alright, so... Don't think it matters much which uh, order I put them in. He might stay, I mean, he does have a full unit. So you are the King of Carlion. Yes. The king of quiet wisdom. I wondered what kind of man you were. How disappointing, you're just a little man trying to look important. <laughs> yep, I, I've hit the bullseye. Do you want to know how I figured uh, you out so quickly? Not really. Alright, I'll tell you. There's not a scrap of intelligence in your droopy face. The educated, like myself, emit intelligence like fragrance drifting from a rose. Are you sure it isn't hot hair that you are emitting? Don't get smart just because someone is better than you. When you see my ability, you'll realize your proper place. Oh, then I'll have to fight especially hard. Um, I should mention, I'm feeling under the weather today. I can only perform at half my usual level. A pity, indeed. <sighs> yeah, Langborg is... Not only does he suck, but he's full of... doo-doo. So Paternus unit is pretty strong. It's probably one of my best units that I have. Alright, so I got that, uh, that hellhound named Garger, Garger, Gr looks like somebody that's using scope or something. Alright, so, let's see, not bad, oh, that's a pretty good level. Might have to get rid of that scorpion I just put in his unit, so I can promote the rock to a phoenix. Philo finally got to level eight. Pretty, pretty good level for her. And I captured that. Ooh, wait, there's more. Oh, new Almikia is coming to attack me. That's something. Alright, so that's not uh, my attack team, uh, and Leoness is not there, so I don't get to do that defense. So I have to leave it to the computer. We're gonna try. And I have good monsters here. Well, I have, well, in Cortina's unit at least, I do. <clears throat> For the modern and Almikia, we cannot lose. So that's the first time we're facing Almikia, actually. 
I may just be a dancer, but you'll be sorry if you make me mad. Alright, so as soon as uh, I get a turn, I'm gonna take a look at them. Oh, they have, they have some good stuff. do have good stuff. I might lose that. I, actually, I probably will. So that's the first time we also have heard this song. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look. So Lance has a Loki. So... So Lokis are, I believe, promoted Gigantes, if I don't get that wrong. And the reason he has it at level 18 is that there's an item that you can get when you send people on quest that uh, automatically promote a monster to the uh, to one tier higher. So that's probably what happened here. So that is very scary because it has Meteor Doom, which is a pretty strong spell, and he can cast it. Yeah, he has barely enough to cast it once. Um, so that, and he's equipped him with a Calming Bell, which is an item that reduces the rune cost. So yeah, Lance is uh, pretty smart here. So we're gonna take a look at Lance. Uh, he's level five. Uh, what's new, something that's new about him in this version of the game compared to Legion of Forcina is that Lance is not a red unit anymore. He's a green unit. All right. And instead of having flame, he has bolt. So they they kind of changed him for that game. He still has a heal, so he already had a heal, so that didn't uh, that didn't change. Alright, so he's 15. The Prince of Elmikia, who fled to Padstow during General Zemeckis' insurrection, he vows to retake his homeland. Recklessly brave and gentle, his personality is refreshing like a spring breeze. Alright, so Lance is kind of the. I'm gonna say poster boy, That's my, that might not be the right uh, expression. Uh, he's kind of the first country that you know when you first play the game you might be drawn a little bit more to him because it's his country that got the coup against and you know so th there's kind of the backbone of the story there already for him uh, he starts at level one and he becomes really strong and i'm not gonna spoil everything uh, there's a way that you can make him stronger in the game too by giving him a class change uh, you have to do something specific for that to happen uh, I'm not gonna spoil it in case you want to play the game and you know try to figure it out on your own uh, But you can get him even stronger that way. So he's a really 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 good unit But he starts at level one so you have to kind of feed him monsters when you first start the game And we have Cole Which is a bishop so we've seen bishops at plenty. We have quite a few of those on our own Right. 63 years old, the aging king of Padstow, a long-time ally of Almikia, he took in Lance after the rebellion. He is humble and good-natured, earning the love and respect of his people. So his son Maligan's lust for power worries him. Um, Cole is, is good. Uh, he does have a lot of rune power. He has good rune area. Uh, his own stats are not all that high, um, but he makes up by having the ability to have a pretty strong unit. I mean, he's a he's he's good. He's just not like ridiculously good. I mean, he only has 507 HP at level 17. That's a little low, um, but he's he can hold his own pretty good. And finally, up here we have Adzilicia. <clears throat> So she's a lancer, just like Charlene. After seeing her ferocious fighting, it's hard to imagine she comes from blue-blooded roots. Her foes call her Lady Death. So to her friends, she's like a gentle big sister. She's 26 years old. So Adelicia is a, a slightly, very slightly stronger version of Charlene. Uh, they are very similar, uh, but shit. Adelicia does get a little bit more room power, 
But other than that, they're very, very, very similar. So just think Charlene, but for New Amnikia instead. Alright, so gotta end it to to the computer. I don't like it, especially with that low key there. That's that's gonna hurt. Unless we can kill it or something. Wow, Balin is still level 1. And the computer likes to rush with Balin and like in front of monsters and everything. I I I'm worried. <laughs> Alright, it starts. Gertar. Alright, guessing Harden on lands. That makes sense. Positioning himself for a breath. What's not gonna do? And he has an Archangel that can cast Holy Word. Yeah, if you could paralyze that, that'd be kinda great. Get rid of that centaur. The computer likes to sacrifice centaurs, either if they're playing for me. Oh my god, that what a waste. Either if they're playing for you or for themselves, they love to rush in with uh, centaurs and archers too. We'll take uh, all the damage we can take, I suppose. Oh man. Here's a hurt starting. I don't have it either, either. I have my Phoenix, I guess. Oh my god, my level 9 plant is gonna die. Paralyze something. Oh, well, you're level 10, but you're gonna die, so it's kinda pointless. Oh, Lance is charging in. Now remember if I if I kill him, he uh, they all retreat. Of course it won't be easy because he has hardened cast on him. Got a crit with a hellhound that has a poison fang equipped, so that's an automatic poison. We're a little bit far, Gallowin. I think that's gonna be too little too late. He's not even attacking lines. All right. 
interesting choice of... Uh, yeah, that's what I said, he sure likes to get to uh, Berlin in trouble. Alright, we're alling fire. Oh my god, that Loki is going to have a field day with that Meteor Doom. All of my troops are all bunched up together. Oh boy. <clears throat> I guess that dragon has an eel ring equipped. That's interesting. Get yourself some XP so we can level up before you die. <laughs> really not a good defense. I didn't have terrible troops, they've just been played poorly. It happens a lot, that's kind of why I play this way, to make it a little bit harder, so I'm not really complaining, I'm just really pointing things out. She's not even gonna get a level out of this before she, she dies. That centaur is gonna kill her. Kill her. All right. I screwed up. Sorry, kill off. He's not here. At least they didn't capture any of my monsters that were in our unit, so I guess silver linings. Now uh, we should probably be retreating. Does it mean we're not gonna kill stuff and get some XP prior to that? There you go. Level one ghoul dead. Now we're now we're talking. All right, that's a level five L hound. I. We can definitely kill that before leaving. Yeah, that uh, that plant. Well, no, if I if I retreat, it's not gonna die. There you go. Now oh, I fear for <laughs> Gallowin. Oh my god. Alright, so that's Meteor Doom. Uh, keep in mind, Meteor Doom is an, AO, uh, an AoE spell. It will hit your troops if they're in the way. So you have to keep that in mind. So as you can see, it's dealing a lot of damage. And I checked the stats of that uh, monster. It really doesn't have a lot of intelligence. So now imagine that spell on. A monster that has, you know, 80 or 90 intelligence or something like that. That's really strong. That's probably the strongest spell in the game. I 
can you not miss for once? You always miss on your counter-attack so you don't get any XP. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Let's try to get a little bit of XP. Ah, uh, golems. Too little, too late. Look at all those status effects that I'm inflicting now that it's pointless for me to do so. Oh my god, that scorpion sacrificed itself. Uh, not that I really care, I just think it's funny. Alright, so we lost another um, castle here. And we gained one, so we're kind of staying put again. Raisin Quest. Raisin is in a deep ravine. Steep cliffs rise on either side, and a smothering fog hides the sky. Suddenly, Raisin hears a low throbbing noise overhead. It seems to be getting closer. He strains his eyes. Gazing upward into the fog, he sees something move. A huge dragon! Raisin holds his breath as the dragon circles overhead. Finally, it issues a vicious roar and flies away. As Raisin hurries to leave, in the, he notices a poison fang on the food. Raisin grabs a poison fang and flees before the dragon returns. Alright, so I got myself a poison fang. Alright, so that does it for that turn. So, we lost the castle here. Kinda sucks, but. Uh, New Amikia is starting to spread itself a little thin, although they don't have to protect here. As Garrus is very quiet, I I don't know why. I really don't know why they're so quiet. They they they're usually pretty aggressive. All right, so what do we have here? Okay. So I believe that... Yep. You know what, buddy? Here, get yourself the scorpion we just lost. Or maybe I'll get you something better. Alright, so I'm gonna promote my Mandrake to a Man-Eater. Eater. Uh, I talked about it in the last episode. Man-Eaters are pretty cool because they have that range attack. Um, and uh, that range attack can also paralyze, so that's pretty cool. And they're pretty cheap to carry around. They have a ton of HP. They just don't have a lot of defense, so... Uh, but they're... They're pretty resilient. I mean, you just saw that that plant took a beating and, you know, it was barely still alive at the end, but it was still alive, so... Promoting that. Alright, so her unit is set for a long time now. Now, what about you? You need something better than a scorpion there. What can I get here? I draw might be too much. Let's see. Uh, if I get rid of that too. Oh, I think I can. Yeah. So let's get him an Hydra. So that uh, his unit is a little bit stronger. Again, I love Hydras. Then I have enough to put that little scorpion there, so... 
Alright, so that takes care of that. Now I believe that down here where I attacked, I also got the... Uh, that enough I don't think it's gonna be enough to promote my rock to a phoenix yep so I'm gonna switch the pixie oh my god that's that's really not that good of a, that good of a unit Langborg is so limited by his crappy room power All right, that's pretty much the best I can do for his unit. So I have a pixie and a hellhound that are going to be here. I don't have a hellhound here. Wait. I do have magic jar here. Get yourself a magic jar. You lucky you. Here. Nope. What about here? No. Poison Fang already? You sure do. Here, get yourself a magic jar. Alrighty, uh, I think that does it uh, for today. So, uh, we lost Jukes and we gained pretty easily. We gained Lothian here. So. I'm gonna call it a video, of course, prior to the next video I am going to re-roll my teams again, hopefully I'm gonna get something good. <coughs> it wasn't bad this time. Uh, if, I were, if I would have been playing the defense in Jukes, I believe that I would have won this. Maybe not easily, but I think I would have been able to focus on Lance and, you know, get by that way. Uh, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and save just to make sure. And as usual, thank you for tuning in and until I roll this game again next time, see you guys later. Thank you. <laughs>